Hey, it's Rusty. Thanks for tuning in to Burning Cereal. Today, what I've got for you is a little road trip. The reason I got a road trip is because we don't have a kitchen. If you follow us on Facebook, you already know, but if you don't, you should. But we're having a outdoor kitchen built at our house, and they have shut off all my gas and all my water and everything else, so I can't really cook anything. So what I thought I'd do is take you over to my butcher, show you his place, talk a little bit about some meats, and see what the difference is between a butcher and a grocer. So I'll see you over there. All right, so here we are with Richard, the general manager at the Butcher's Block. Richard, why would I come in here rather than going to just a regular grocery store? Right, so Rusty, the reason why you'd want to come into the Butcher's Block versus your local grocer is because we specialize in high quality meats. The things you're going to find here are way, way past the level of the things that you're going to find at your local grocer. We only carry the top 21% of the beef market so the things that you're seeing here are the same steaks that you're going to find at the best chocolate steakhouses in the country. So instead of going out and maybe spending $50 on a steak dinner there, you can come here and spend $30 on a steak that's better prepared and you know where it's coming from, you know what's in it, and you have the friendly help and service that only we can provide here. At of our friendly neighborhood butcher. Right. So I noticed you looked at this chart. Can you explain what this chart actually means? Of course. So what you see here is the USDA grading scale for beef. And it's broken up into four different levels. You have select, you have choice, you have top choice, and prime. We only deal in prime and top choice, which is the top 21% of that scale. Now, what do I find in my grocery store? At your grocery store, you're only going to find select and maybe a couple of the lower levels of choice. Okay, so these are the these, bad cows, I and mean, these are the good cows. <laughs> They're not bad. They didn't do anything wrong while they were hanging out in their pastures. It's just that these cuts are going to be a little bit leaner. They're not going to be as well marbled, and that marbling is where you get all of your flavor. So Richard, you got to tell me what the difference is between this cut of beef and this cut of beef. If I had this one that's dry aged in my refrigerator, I'd throw that shit away because it looks really bad. But from what I understand, that's the better slab of beef. Absolutely. So first of all, you have to understand that what you see in our case is not the steak that you are taking home and throwing on your pan and eating later that night. We take it out, we cut a custom steak for you, we trim off all of that outer husk, and all of you're left with is beautiful, beautiful meat for your enjoyment. Okay, so I'm not actually taking this dry-aged piece of beef and throwing it on the grill. You guys clean it up and make it all nice and pretty so that it doesn't kill me when I get home. Absolutely, and what that dry-aging process does is it really concentrates that beef flavor. You're missing about 30% of the moisture from that steak uh, from its dry age process. And so not only does it cook faster, you also get way more flavors. You actually end up winding up with a almost a nuttiness, a nutty quality to the beef that's just impossible to replicate any other way. Cool. I always wondered about that stuff. Here at the Butcher's Block in Mission Viejo, we offer a wide assortment of foods for your enjoyment, from our fresh fish that gets brought to the store twice weekly, to our eclectic range of cheeses and charcuteries, and of course to our main attraction, our all-natural beef and chicken, which never contains any hormones or antibiotics or preservatives. Our beef, which is grass-fed and grain-finished, Thank you, Richard, for inviting us into the Butcher's Block. This is the only place we get our meat from. 
I want to say thank you very much. I also want to say, can I get that two pound porterhouse that's sitting over there? Throw it in your vacuum sealer? Absolutely, Russ, it'd be my pleasure. Thank you very much, sir. We'll see you next time. Okay.